Ah, uh, ow. Not talking for ten years really dries out your throat. Y yeah, I haven't spoken a single word in ten years. Why? Why what? Oh, you really can't tell? You don't see how pale I am? Or how I'm transparent? Or, you know, how I'm floating a foot off the ground? Uh -um. I suppose I should just introduce myself to you. Uh, m my name's Izuku, and, um, I'm a ghost. Wow, you're really taking that information well. What, are you not afraid of ghosts? W well, yeah. Most people that come through here run for the door the moment they see me. Hence why I'm not able to get a single word in before they leave. Yup, people have been coming through here for ten whole years, and not one decided to speak a word to me. Until you, of course. Wait, why are you here? I mean, this place is creepy, so I doubt you're here willingly. What? What do you mean you're moving in? That can't be right. Nobody would want to live here. A fixer-upper? I suppose that makes sense. Wait, let's take a step back here. You never answered my question. Why are you so calm about meeting a real ghost? M my aura is calming. M my aura is calming? What does that even mean? I mean, I'm definitely not an evil ghost. Quite the opposite, actually. However, I definitely wouldn't say that I have a calming aura. F thanks, I guess? Were you serious about the whole moving in here? I... I don't want to be pushy or anything. But... I haven't been around a person in a long time, let alone live with one. So I'm kind of in shock. R really? Wow, I can't believe it. I've been alone for so long. It'll be so great to have another person in the house. We can watch movies together, and decorate, and tell scary stories, and- Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself. My bad. Huh? N no I can't leave, unfortunately. I've tried many times, but nothing seems to work. R right with ghosts, it usually seems that if you're able to finish whatever they have unfinished when they died, they will pass on, so to speak. But with me... Well... I don't remember anything about my previous life. Y yeah, it's like I was always like this. My earliest memories have been of me in this house. The only reason I know my name is because, well, I found a jacket with it written on the tag. It looks like it'd be my jacket, so I think it's my name. I try not to think of it too much. Either way, it's what I've called myself this whole time, and it just feels right, you know? So, it's stuck, I guess. Oh gosh. I got so caught up explaining myself that I forgot to ask about you. What's your name? Wow, that's a really nice name. It's nice to meet you. I bet you weren't expecting to have a roommate when you moved in here, huh? Well, lucky for you, I don't take up too much space. Actually, I don't take up any space. Yeah, 
I could become tangible if I want, but most of the time I choose to be like... Like... Well, I actually don't know the word. Um, I choose to be untouchable, I suppose. Oh, the word is intangible. Th that makes sense, considering I just said tangible. Well, anyway, I do it because despite being a ghost, I can still feel things. I still have my sight, smell, hearing, and taste. So it makes sense that I'd be able to feel as well. Since this place has been abandoned for a while, the AC unfortunately hasn't been on, if it works at all, that is. That means that it's exceptionally cold in here all the time. Right, you're getting it. If I'm in my intangible form, that sense of feeling gets numbed. No more feeling means no more cold. Oh yeah, since you're here now, I'm sure you'll have the AC turned on. Which means that I can feel the warmth that I've missed so much for all these years. At least, I think I've missed it. Like I said, I don't remember life before this. So warmth is only a concept I've read in books left behind by the previous owner. Honestly, the previous owner probably being me. Um, I hope that I'm not too much of a burden on you. I'd hate to get in the way so I'll try my best to stay out of sight for the most part. You... you like the idea of having a ghost roommate? Wow, thanks for that. I promise that I'm good company, and I don't have to eat and drink, which means you don't have to buy me food or anything like that. What? Like a pet? Um, that's kind of embarrassing. I guess I'm like a pet you don't have to look after. And I can talk. So, what do you have planned for the rest of the evening? I imagine you're going to be super busy moving in and all that. I ask because, well, I was hoping we could talk. Get to know each other a bit, you know? S sorry if I'm overstepping or asking for too much. It's just been a long time since I've talked to somebody. I hope you understand. Right. That's okay. I know you're pretty busy. Hey, I can help if you want. I mean, I can't leave, but... Since I can still touch stuff, I'm very useful around the house. As you probably have noticed, this house isn't very dusty. Y yeah, that's because I've tried my best to keep this place semi-tidy. Unfortunately, I've ran out of cleaning supplies a long time ago, so this place is still dirty. But if you were to bring me cleaning supplies, I could be... Well... I could be your ghost maid, Izuku. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it doesn't end there. The previous owner also left behind a whole collection of cookbooks, which means I can also cook for you every day. Well, I ran out of regular books to read, so I kind of had to read the cookbooks. Gotta find something to occupy my ghostly mind, you know? What? No, I don't want anything in return. I just... I really want a friend. Plus, I imagine you'll bring a lot of stuff into the house that'll make the afterlife much more interesting than dusty old books. Yeah, as much as I like the writings of Poe and King... I bet there are tons of authors that I haven't even heard of. It's so exciting. You have no idea how long I've been dreaming about something like this. And now, now that it's actually here, well, I can barely contain my excitement. 
More than just books. What do you mean, more than just books? T TV? Oh, yeah. I think I've read about TV once. It's like moving pictures that tell stories, right? Wow. That sounds incredible. Almost unreal. You have one of these? T TVs, I mean. Oh, great. Where is it? I'd love to see it. You don't have it on you. You mean to say that you have something that gives you endless stories, and you don't carry it with you at all times? What if you get bored? T too big. Oh, really? I assumed it was the same size as a normal book. Y you know, something easy to put in a bag or something. Well, nonetheless, I'm excited to see this TV. Y you do have something smaller. A cell phone? What's that? Oh, wow. That's incredible. C can I see it? Oh my gosh, it's so bright. It's like the sun's in my hands. Y you said this cell phone allows you to receive any information you want? That means I can ask it any question I want, and it'll give me an answer? Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. And it's so small. Living in the real world is so convenient. Wait, where did the picture go? The page is dark. Oh, it's called a screen. I see. Why did the screen go dark? It turned off? I don't know what that means, but you don't seem to be worried about it, so I assume it's not bad. Here, you can have it back. Thank you. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. What? Y you have to go now? Uh, okay. Will you come back soon? Oh, you just have to pack some stuff up and bring it over. Okay. I can't wait for you to fully move in. I'll try my best to clean this place up while you're gone, so you feel more at home when you come back. Hey. Before you go, thank you for coming here. I mean, I think this will be great. For the both of us. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. What's up, guys? It's Jam. And really quick, I just wanted to say thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing for more. I believe this will be my last Deku video for a while, which I apologize if you really like Deku, but... Um, it's just kind of become stale for me at the moment. Um, I hope you understand. Uh, from now on, I'll be doing a lot of one shots, um, and stuff like that. Uh, so I hope you stay tuned and see what I can do and see if you maybe find more enjoyment from those. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of just rambling at this point. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, 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 so much, and I hope you have a happy Halloween. And if you're not celebrating Halloween, uh, I hope that you have a wonderful day or night or evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope it's wonderful. Um, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.